Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. As ever you can find me over on Instagram at the House of Langford and at Overall Sews. I'm also on Ravelry as Mad X Stitcher. And this is my little roundup of February. My little podcast, monthly podcast of all things crafty. Um, but at the moment, pretty much just crochet. <laughs> because that's what I spend a lot of my time doing. Um, I am a textiles teacher. I am based in Thurrock, which is in Greys, which is Essex in England. And with my husband, Ralph, and my son, Joey, we live in a flat. Um, the aim is to get out of here, but it will happen when it happens. So I also help out on my local yarn shop, which is the Little Yarn Hut, also known as All Tangled Up um, on Instagram and Facebook, etc., that is my local yarn store. I've also been teaching crochet workshops there for the past, oh, how many months is it now? I've been teaching there since the summer, since I broke up from school in July last year. Um, yeah, I've been teaching crochet workshops there every week. So we did have a little bit of break in January, but other than that, it's every week. <laughs> so I have very little time outside of work and teaching um to do much else however i do have some things to show you for this month so let's dive straight in with finishes shall we my fo's and there's only one <laughs> um and i've already jumped in and i've already forgotten to explain what my plans were for february <clears throat> so I'm also still getting over a cold, which is really, really fun um, for the last week or so. Anyway, my plans. Let's go. Let's take it back. Let's rewind. Um, so for February, I wanted to make a bag um, using some wood cutouts that I've been working on at work. Um, I've been using images to sort of practice using the different techniques on the laser cutter. So to show how to how to engrave pictures in a different format, if any of that makes sense. Um, so I have used a Critical Role character that I found um, because I really like it. And I'll show you that in a little while. I haven't finished it because there is an issue, but I will explain later. Um, I wanted to finish another whip. I wanted to make a crocheted cardigan and I wanted to make some pumpkins because my nan has requested some pumpkins. And I keep forgetting to do them. So I've not actually completed any of those um, plans. Yeah. So <laughs> what I have done instead is this. <laughs> Look. Um, I have made an emoji coaster. Yeah. So I have used the same base pattern that I made up for the snowman from Christmas. Um, I've made some little hearts, so we have the heart eyes emoji, um, and I am going to make a few more of these, and I'm thinking actually this might be a free pattern on Ravelry, um, and if I can find somewhere else to put it for free then I will, so yeah, I think it's rather cute. I've been working on a very simple smiley face without the hearts, and I think I might do an angry face and i'm not sure what else i want to do so <laughs> drop your ideas down below um for which emojis you think i should do next but this is the first one i have used starcraft special dk for it i have used citron as the main background color lipstick for the red and black for the black so this has all been living in my little gray girl bag which i bought at i don't remember when Maybe a pop-up shop when she was at the Arn dispensary. Um, so the Arn is currently living in there. This is actually the beginner's bag that I use um, when I'm teaching. So it has all my beginner samples in it. But I wanted to try something different this week. So I made this. Um, which is not actually on my list of anything that I should have been doing this month. Yes. So that is it. I have one finish. I have made... One lonely coaster. Yeah. However, I've done lots of my whips. So, I guess we'll just move straight into whips then, shall we? Um, 
Right, so the first one I'm going to show you is the bag that I've been working on. So I'm using Starcraft Special Chunky and the label is all messed up. I'm using mustard and I'm using that double. I'm holding it double. So I currently have this mess, which is actually what's left of two balls to try and sort out before I do anything else. Um, so I've got all the hardware still in here, but I wanted to show you what it's currently looking like. So this is the back and you can see it's a piece of wood with holes cut out into it and I've crocheted into it. As I said, I've held the yarn double so it's nice and chunky. It's nice and solid and it's quite wide. I've got an opening at the top so I can get my hand in there and I've got all the hardware rolling around on the bottom with my hook. I've also made a loop so that I can put a toggle bead on here like a button to close it. And then this is the image that I've been working with. So I will find the details of the artist who drew this. This is just from the wiki page for this character. So this is Fresh Cut Grass <laughs> from Critical Role's campaign Free, who is played by Sam Regal. And I used the, oh, what technique did I use? Halftone. I used halftone. So there's actually like lots of little dots that make up this image um, on the laser cutter. And I've printed another one, which is a mandala um, design, but I used a line technique with that one because it is just an outline so i've been playing around with the different image features so this bag is not for sale this is for me it was just to play with the laser cutter and try out some of the tools and the way it um, engraves on there but i'm really enjoying the process of trying to come up with something new and i'm hoping that we can use something like this in textiles club or just in a mini project in general so that the students can learn how to use the software for the laser cutter and then make something up with it as well so we'll see how that goes but yes this is my bag project now as i said i have stopped working on this because i wanted to make quite a thick handle for it like a big strap so a crossbody strap so quite long but I was trying to follow a video on YouTube and it was just wasn't working. Every time I tried to pull the yarn through, it got caught and I ended up losing my stitches. So it was kind of like a mini Tunisian style um, pattern. But I was using a standard crochet hook and I just kept the stitches just kept falling off the hook. So I'm going to try something slightly different for this and see what I can come up with because I want a wide handle. I don't want a thin or a twisty strap. Um, so we'll see what else I can do. But I also need to make um, tabs on the sides to hold the hardware, the D rings that's going to hold, that's going to help attach the <laughs> attach the handle to it because I've got some. Let me just show you the hardware. So, D-ring, that's what needs to go here in some format. And then I have this one. It's a D-ring with a clasp on it. So that's going to be the handle and then that will attach to this so I can detach the handle. But then I also have a slider. But if I'm working with double thickness of chunky, it's not actually going to fit through that. So I don't know whether I will use that. But yes, that needs to be finished. Um, I will sit down at some point and find a method that I like for the handle. I don't know whether to go to do the full length and then work my way backwards and forwards or do the width and work my way backwards and forwards. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, I will find something at some point. But at the minute, I haven't found anything I'm... I think works for this because I'm still trying to keep like a similar aesthetic to the character himself and he is a robot so it needs to be somewhat industrial 
looking to me um but yeah i'm really enjoying working with this and i've had a friend ask me to try something different as well so we'll see how that one goes too <laughs> right next up is the cardigan that i said i wanted to start for this month or at least make for this month and i have started and i have run out of yarn so I'm actually doing this in the Starcraft Special XL Tweed, which is chunky. I am using boysenberry, which is a nice pinky purple, and mustard. It seemed to be in a mustard kick at the minute. Um, what is this one? Yeah, boysenberry. Special XL Tweed. So, there we go. It is 97% acrylic and 3% viscose. Um, but yes, I have used a whole bag. I have used 10 balls of boysenberry and I have four balls of the mustard. I don't think I'm going to need four balls of the mustard at the minute. I completed the back. So this is the back. But... It's not very wide, so I'm actually going to add, I need to add four rows to this to sort of go up to the next size for width. Um, so that's the back. I have the two fronts, which I made the bigger width to cover the second size. So I have my two. And then I started the sleeves. And as I was doing one of the sleeves, I was like, this yarn is going to run out. So... I have got them both to the same stage because I had one, I had two balls of the boysenberry left and that is one ball of boysenberry for each sleeve. So the mustard is the cuff and will be the collar that goes around the whole thing. I think there's 10 rows left on the sleeve to do because that in no way near fits my arm. So yeah. We are currently now waiting for, um, we just put in an order in with Starcraft at the shop to get that in so that I can finish it off. I have literally stopped at the same place on both of them, um, both of the sleeves, so I know that I'm just going to fill in the top bit and then add the four rows to the back panel and then I can start putting it all together before doing the collar. Um, I think I've only used, I've not even used a whole ball. To do the cuffs yet so i've got three in a bit which will hopefully do the rest of the um collar so it's not going to fit back in the bag how it was it has been living in my doodle cats bag it was all folded nicely i will sort it all out in a bit but yes my doodle cats bag it is very big but it's nice and cosy but it's also nice and like heavy so i'm not sure how long i'm gonna be able to wear it for but we'll see um i just wanted to show you the picture on the front of the pattern so you've got an idea of what it's going to look like this is it. so it's nice and cosy nice and squishy yeah that's what it's going to look like but obviously this one's been done in like a yarn that changes colour. I've just done it all in the pink and then the collar is going to be in the mustard. So you can see I've got quite a long way to go still on the sleeve. I'm probably only halfway on the sleeve. So it's going to take at least another ball each, I think, for each sleeve. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is that is the cardigan I'm doing. It is by Knit Crow Addict. I think I got this from Ravelry. I will see if I can um, find a link for you. But I'm just looking for it. And it says there are video tutorials for the cardigan as well. So I'll see if I can possibly link to one of those too. So that's my crochet cardigan. It would have been finished had I got more yarn. But we thought the 10 balls would be enough because it's chunky. And apparently not. So I did follow that the amount of yardage required, but apparently not enough. 
So you might see that next month. <laughs> Okie dokie. So the next, I'm going to show you the next two. Um, so they're kind of out of sequence with my notes, but I'm going to show you the next two because I've got a final project to show you, a final whip, which is actually a test. So I'm going to show you these first. Um, I have moved on to ball number two of my new Granny Hexy cardigan. So this is still only one side, um, but I am into ball two now. I'm working it up. Now the reason I've been working on this is because this is what our students are doing um, in the crochet workshops. They've been making these. And I think I've only done maybe three or four rows um, on it, but actually I can pretty I can pretty work that out. Two rounds. Because my yarn tails are here from when I joined the second ball. So I've done two rounds of this cardigan side. Um, yeah, I'm using Till, Starcraft Special DK. I actually bought a whole bag, I think, of this, um, or just eight balls of it, so that I could make this cardigan. So I know I'm doing it. Um, that's living in this nice big bag with the tape measures on, which is an old bag I made. Um, can't remember when, but yeah, I made this. <laughs> um, so there's that one because of crochet workshops, and the other one is in my Made by Penguins bag. And I am just working on the Granny Square Blanket um, in the Cherish yarn. So I'm using white, lemon, mint and peach to make just a big Granny Square. I've never, prior to doing this, I'd never made just a big Granny Square Blanket. So this is that blanket. Um, I have put, I want to say two or three colours in this since I last showed you don't actually remember um but again we've been doing granny squares with some of our newer beginners so this is what i've been taking along with me to work on with them so i can show them and yeah that's living in there and for anyone who was worried that i'd lost a pair of scissors from the advent at christmas they're in this box or in the in this box in this bag I must have thought to myself, right, that's an easy project I can work on and potentially finish. Pop them in there because they need scissors in there to change colour. So they are gold. They are in here. <laughs> so yes, I found the scissors. Yep. So that is another granny project. Um, and I have one more thing to show you. That's pretty much it. Um, so the last one I have is a test piece it is by crochet with may it is called lucky puppy and i am using starcraft special dk in gingerbread and cream i had to ask people at the shop to help me choose colors because i just couldn't decide and because i wasn't sure if i was going to keep it or gift it or sell it um I didn't want to make it too expensive either and I really like the idea of doing it in a variegated yarn but there aren't really variegated yarns in Starcraft unless you use the batik swell and that can be quite costly so I wanted a commercial option um, and the Starcraft that I buy the DK is £2.20 a ball so I've already bought four balls two of each colour and I have a feeling that I'm going to need two more of each colour to finish this blanket because I'm doing it four high. Anyway, it is mosaic crochet. It is overlay mosaic crochet, which is one of the easier techniques that I like. It is the same technique used for the Ho 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 blanket by Rosina Plain. And parts of the Magic Carpet Fro that I finished in January is also mosaic um, overlay. So I thought... It should whip up quite nicely and quickly. Now, I have a deadline of the 1st of May. I started this on Valentine's Day. And I have been working on it up until today. Today is the 4th of March, I believe. Um, I have continued. I've done about five, six rows this week. We were in the last couple of days because I've just been trying to work on it. So, I have asked... If I could share it with you and 
I was kindly granted, yes, permission to do so. So let me show you actually the first section. This is the first section. They are so cute. This is actually listed as the adult um, dog pattern. The image is a really nice paw print. And you can see there's little bones around the outside. Now, I don't know what size this is listed as. I will have to check. The twin size, now I'm using DK, I'm using a four mil hook. The twin size for Aaron says three by four. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, the twin size for DK says four by five. This is already the same size width as my magic carpet bro, which is a single size, kind of. It's like a, an individual size um and i was worried that i wouldn't finish in time so i just wanted to do a size that i knew was manageable within the time frame now i have not quite finished the second row as such um but we can see i've started to do i'm now doing the puppies on this one so can we see because i can't see you Yes, yes. So I am having all of the paw prints in the middle. I have got the adult dogs at the bottom, then the puppies here, and then I think I was going to do another row of. I don't know if to do another re repeat this row with the puppies, or repeat the bottom row and then this row. Does that make sense? To so do adult row, then puppy row, then adult row, then puppy row, or do adult row, two puppy rows. I don't worry. I need help deciding. But yes, at the minute, that's where we are at. And it is living in. <laughs> this is really sad. Um, I think I've joined the second. I've joined the second cream ball. I don't know if I, I should therefore be on the second um, gingerbread ball. Now, there is a reason I have three stitch markers in this blanket. These two are to mark the middles, so where the pattern, the graph chart stops for each one, because you have a graph for each image. This one is where I had to pull it back to, because I'd missed a stitch. That is in the stitch I missed. I had to pull back 12 rows, because I was somewhere here, and I had to pull back down. To there because I was one stitch out and I couldn't work out where it was and when I looked back I was like oh it's that far back um yeah which was not fun last weekend but I've done it got it back to normal and what I love about this is the back is just nice and squidgy and actually you kind of get a reverse if you look really carefully you can get a reverse image on the back which is quite nice so anyway yes this is embarrassing it's not in a proper what i consider a proper project bag this is one of those um fold up bags this is what it's living in i need to upgrade it um yes so i am on ball number two of the cream i believe that is ball number two of the um gingerbread and I have two more of each in here because I didn't feel the need to no that is it so I should use all of this because that's not gonna I'm not gonna use all of that for the second part um what I am trying to do though is weigh it so I know how much I've used for each band um of patterns so yeah it is working up really nicely um I'm really enjoying it I just I wasn't well last week and didn't really fancy crocheting anything so it kind of got put to the wayside but I am back to it and I want to finish this second row because the puppies do not currently have heads and they need their heads so yeah that is it that is what I have for whips is what I have for finishes and I haven't really acquired anything this month either I think I've ordered a couple of bits. 
One being the Perth Collab Club, which I said I wasn't going to order, but I did because I really liked it. Um, because it was a Taylor Swift album. I've also ordered um, a minis club from Laura of the Lonely Knitter. So that has arrived, but I'm not showing you that because that arrived in March. And I think that's it. Oh, I've also purchased a yarn bowl from Siobhan's Crafts at Unravel Festival last weekend. But I didn't go to Unravel last weekend. Um, but Ali did, um, of Willy Ali. So she picked up a yarn bowl for me. I have paid her and I will collect at EOIF in a couple of weeks' time. So that will go much. <laughs> um, yeah, that is it. I have, however, obviously I bought the yarn for the Lucky Puppy Blanket. So that is currently four balls each of cream, four balls each of the gingerbread have however bought finished makes from other people so i pre i purchased this um just before valentine's day i think i picked it up on the weekend this is from stanley's crochet workshop and he was raising money for british heart foundation so i have a giant pink heart and he's got little feet <laughs> um yeah i really like him he's nice and big and soft and squidgy and chunky um but it's a giant heart so he's been sitting on my sofa with me keeping me company when my husband's not home yeah so i have a big squishy heart from stanley and i also have this is adorable this is really adorable i have purchased a teeny tiny dragon <laughs> Now, I picked these colours because red is my favourite colour and I love all the pinks as well. But yeah, so I have a teeny tiny dragon. This is from Earthshine Design on Facebook, who is also, was originally, I think, GW Designs, because her name is Grace. And she makes all these cute little figurines. So she has these in, in the full rainbow. But I think she's only sold three or four of them. So she's still got loads left over. And they're actually not that expensive either. But he's just adorable. Look at that face. Yeah. So that is it. That's what I bought this month. I bought a dinosaur. A dragon. Not a dinosaur. It's a dragon. I bought a dragon. And a heart. And the yarn for the Lucky Puppy Blanket. And that's it. That is everything I have for you for this month. Um, in terms of life, work is going good. Um, my heat press arrived last week. So I have been busy printing everyone's designs onto satin fabric. And I have been getting static shocks off of everything. Because I'm working with satin and heat. And I wear a lot of satin and polyester. So, yes, everyone's been getting static shocks. Even when I just open the door to the classroom, I get a static shock. So that's been really fun <laughs> um in addition crochet uh, textiles club has started last week and they've decided to do some cross stitch which is really nice so we're gonna sit up with that um i went back to karate this week <laughs> on monday um i'm gonna do a few mondays and then get back to mondays and fridays and then i think i'm gonna add in some weights at work because we can access the gym now um yeah that is where we're at and not much else to say on that <laughs> um right in addition oh, actually i've just spotted one more thing that i did buy for february so i'm going to grab that quickly because even that's adorable too right i had a hospital appointment to attend to didn't feel brilliant afterwards because I didn't really get any answers. But I went to Hobbycraft and picked up a new book. And these are just so cute. Look at them. So I think they're all made in cotton. But I'm going to see what yarns I have in my stash to try and make some of these up in DK. Because I've got a lot of DK yarn. And I just couldn't resist. And not because there's a panda in there. Because I didn't actually see the panda until I picked up the book to take it to the till. 
I saw the ones on the front. And the other one is all killed. Um, so yeah, picked myself up a new book. There are so many designs in here though. And they are so detailed. There is pictures of everything. Like every step of the way there is a picture to help you. So it is by, I want to say Cook K or Cook Say. And I think you can get it on Amazon as well. But I picked this up in Hobbycraft just because I was there. That is the only thing I bought in Hobbycraft. You'll be proud of me. Um, yeah, normally I go in there and buy loads of random things. But I just picked up one book. I felt like I needed to treat myself. So I picked this up when I got some food from Greg's. And then went back home. <laughs> that was my afternoon. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to making up some of those as well. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, as I said last month, I was going to hold a giveaway because I reached 500 subscribers between... Um, between Christmas and filming in January, uh, well, filming January's podcast, we hit over 500 subscribers. So, yay! Um, we're halfway to getting, is it verified or, I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't remember what it's called, but there we go. Yeah, so we're halfway. And... Actually, that number has continued to rise, which is really nice. Um, I said I was going to draw a give draw a winner when we hit five two five because I thought that would be ages away, but we're so close. I thought I would just draw now. So I have picked a winner using pick a winner, um, which pick, randomly picks from the comments on you on a YouTube video, and I asked you all. What your plans for 2023 were, your making plans or crafting plans. And the winner, the the, ah, the comment that was picked out is by Michelle. And Michelle wanted to crochet a cardigan or jumper this year. Um, as well as have a go at making the Sophie's Universe blanket in cotton yarn. So Michelle, you are my winner for um, my 500 subscribers giveaway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I will comment, I will reply to your comments on the past, the last video, um, but do get in touch with me, whether that is through here or through Instagram or Facebook, find a way to reach out to me and we'll sort out getting a prize to you. As I mentioned before, I have a set of minis available, I also have a set of stitch markers available for that giveaway too, so... I just need to find something else to pop in there with you and yeah we'll get that into the post as soon as possible so i wanted to say thank you to everyone for being here and following on my crazy crafting journey because it's not always plain sailing clearly but i'm enjoying the process and making things and i hope you guys are too i also have a couple of patterns on ravelry now which is really exciting I'm going to pop up the emoji patterns once I finish those up. So there will be a free pattern. And yeah, everything is moving forward this year. So I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I've made some really good friends. I've made some new friends. And I'm just having a good time at the minute. And I cannot wait until EAYF in a couple of weeks. I got really squeaky then, didn't I? Um, so I am going to be vlogging. I have just been um, given permission to be a podcaster for the weekend. Um, I am staying there for the few nights that it is on. So I'm literally leaving work on Friday and driving straight up to Norwich for the whole weekend. And then coming back Sunday. So it's really exciting. And I've also now just um, agreed to go camping <laughs> for the oh what festival is it called carry on crafting festival in july so that will also be fun because i haven't been camping in years and i don't have any gear so <laughs> i'm looking forward to another fabulous crafty weekend anyway i hope you've enjoyed this podcast episode i think we're on now 42 43 i don't remember it's been a while but it's been really fun so 
hopefully I will have a finished cardigan for you next month. Um, that is one of my plans. Anyway, we are ordering that yarn this week. So hopefully I will have a finished cardigan. I might... I don't think I'll have the blanket finished. The puppy one. But it should be pretty close. Like I said, I've got until May the 1st. But I don't want to be like right up until the deadline. And I did set myself the challenge of trying to do it one section a week i think we're at the end of week three and i've not yet finished two sections but i'm pretty confident that i can do it before may 1st long long before may 1st it is going with me to eayf um not sure how much i'll actually do on it but <laughs> we'll see and yeah hopefully you'll be able to see that progress as well so maybe next month we'll have a couple more sections on it or at least one more section surely in a month i can get one more section done on it i kind of need to maybe it will be finished oh no that's a challenge that is a challenge indeed if you think i should try and finish this blanket by the end of march do let me know please um not sure i can but I will try. We have three weeks. It's doable. Oh dear, now I'm rumbling. Oh no. Please don't make me finish a blanket in a month. <laughs> anyway, right. It is starting to get dark. I've already got my light on to help me with visual. Um, I need to head out to my parents actually for some dinner. Because it is Sunday. And Sunday means Sunday dinner at my parents' house. Um, Yeah, so I will see you all again next month. And before then, I will probably see you for EIYF. So, take care.